First of all, thanks for coming out. Uh, my name is Delbert Chapman. I work at Columbus Police Homicide Unit. The reason I asked for this news uh, briefing is I'd like to revisit the uh, May 22nd, 2021 shooting at Bicentennial Park. That day, <clears throat> several, a party started, and during that party, it grew to about two or 300 people. Somebody decided to pull a gun out and start shooting. Olivia Kurtz is one of those persons. We had a total of six people shot. Some other people were trampled. Um, she uh, collapsed down by the riverbank after being shot. She was transported to Grant Hospital where she died. Over the last two years, we received limited information on this homicide. And I am asking the public, for the people who may have been there, to come forward with more information. Over the last two years, people change, clicks change, you're not in high school anymore. So I'm reaching out to the public for those people that were there to see if we get any further information so we can move forward with this case. You kind of mentioned it there about, you know, groups change, people change. Yeah. Um, a lot, what we have seen in other investigations, it's been, well, people don't want to snitch on their friends. Is that maybe what we're seeing here? Exactly. And that's why we're not hearing anything? Yeah, exactly. I've got very limited information on this case. Um, my phone's really not ringing. During the evening of the homicide that night, I think two people stuck around because they missed the ride. They didn't have a whole lot to give me. So again, I mean, we're just hoping that, you know, after two years, you know, maybe somebody will come forward. You know, I've, I've been in constant contact with Olivia's mom. Um, she, Olivia, for the most part, died in her twin sister's arm down by the riverbank. And I like to give her family some closure, as much as that would do, you know. It's still, you lost your daughter. You know, Olivia won't go to a senior prom. She won't have kids. She won't have grandchildren because of this. So that's why, we're, that's why I'm reaching out. So the police department's reaching out to anybody who has any additional information. Now, I will tell you this, the FBI is back here, and they still have a $25,000 reward on the table for any information that leads to the arrest of anybody. That's something to think about. Way to, a good thing to remind people that you don't have to reveal who you are. Yeah, exactly. And I'll take whatever I can get. You can use Crime Stoppers. If you know who did this, Crime Stoppers is a great tool we have. Give me a tip. Let me, let me work that tip. But as it stands right now, we've never got a name, any information about this at all. Yeah. Yeah, the FBI's. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, any additional videos? Some, you know, because everybody has their cell phone is out. Anything like that would be helpful. We did get some of that video, but it's not really telling a story. And as you mentioned before, uh, the FBI is back here. They they still have that twenty five thousand dollar reward on the table. So, yes. Any other details? If someone was there but didn't necessarily see the shooting happen, what kind of details would you want from someone like that who was kind of a bystander but around as kind of things went crazy that night? You know, uh, how many shots were fired, where they were standing at, if they seen anybody with a gun, any of that information is, is really important. You know, we can work with a lot of this stuff. We just have to get that information. You hopeful? Are you hopeful that this investigation I'm, I'm, I'm praying that it will. I'm hopeful. I mean, somebody's, somebody knows something. You can't have two to 300 people standing in a group and nobody not see anything. Somebody has to, has to see something. 